from Creamy Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. So the African hotel group, Orion Hotels, has officially joined US hotel chain Best Western Hotels and Resorts at its local franchise. And Ian Killian tells us more. Orion CEO Franz Geminer announced that 13 Orion hotels would be converted to become part of the Best Western franchise. Each of the 13 hotels would adapt Best Western brand standards, but would operate under the management of Orion Hotels. It's a franchise agreement with Best Western International, Best Western uh, franchise, 4,100 properties all over the world in over 100 countries, and our South African portfolio of 13 hotels will be joining their network of properties. The two companies plan to further expand throughout Africa as Orion Hotels would continue to lease, manage and acquire new properties. The rebranding of the first three hotels, Velamore Hotel Estate in Pretoria, Hotel Promenade in Nelspruit and the Mahubas Kloof Hotel in Limpopo, was projected to be completed by July. This would be followed by the rebranding of a further 10 hotels by the end of the first quarter of 2017. Best Western do have properties in West Africa and East Africa. The uh, African portfolio currently consists of 26 properties elsewhere in, in Africa and there's one little one in Cape Town. And of course, they are very ambitious about expansion plans into Africa. And uh, they've asked Orion to spearhead that for them. Gaminer said the idea to join Best Western was conceptualized last year, after which negotiations were held between the companies. He noted that Orion concluded the deal in November last year and agreement contracts were finalized in February. He added that Orion's property portfolio suited Best Western's portfolio of properties. It's opportune because uh, uh, our property portfolio suits their portfolio uh, very handsomely. Uh, they've been looking around to expand into South Africa for some time and uh, uh, it was a meeting of the mind when we, we contacted them to do a tie-up. Uh, they're very excited and so are we. The miner said that being a member of a major hotel group would be beneficial to Orion and noted that once the rebranding was complete, Best Western would be the biggest international hotel brand in South Africa. The future absolutely is bright. It's about growth. We are very aggressive about expanding our portfolio. We'd like to grow from 13 to 26 and, four and more and more, uh, ideally over 100 and plus. Uh, and of course, we need an international partner to take us to that next level. Other news making headlines this week. SA punches above its weight in green building and Sifsa bemoans lack of concrete plans to tackle slow pace of economic growth. South Africa is fast becoming a front runner in green building and if its current commitment to green activity continues, the country will be a leader in the global green market in the next three years, a new report has revealed. Um, in five years we've seen basically exponential growth in the adoption, in the take-up of green building and green building principles and practices by the commercial property industry. Um, the number I love to use is that for the last five years, every year we have doubled the number of certified green projects in South Africa. Last year we ended, we're currently at 167, if memory serves me correctly, we ended at 157. Um, last year, um, previous year was 75. When I joined the organization five years ago, we had five. So there's been a huge take up. CIFSA has welcomed government's announced efforts to reduce its expenditure. However, the organization remains concerned about the lack of concrete plans to address the country's slow economic growth. The deficit has been growing and growing, so has debt. And the problem is that. Um, we ran into a position where government was actually borrowing money to pay current expenditure. We need fundamental shifts in how this economy is, policy is, is, is practiced and how the economy is, is, is positioned to increase growth and to get investment back. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.